Welcome back. You know, Ryan, it matters now more than ever boosting our immune system. So um, yeah. here is the author of What to Eat When. Please welcome Dr. Michael Roizen. Hi, Dr. Roizen. How are you? Great, Kelly. How are you? It's great to see you. I was telling Ryan that you were one of the uh, early warning symbols for me in my uh, personal life. Uh, with this, with um, the coronavirus that was headed to us when people weren't really taking it very seriously, you were taking it very, very seriously. So let's talk about our immune system, how it works, how it can be compromised, and how it leaves us vulnerable to viruses. So our immune system is a series of defenses, just like you have in real life in, with police and locked doors and alarms, et cetera. The immune system initially, it's our skin and the skin oils and the bacteria on our skin that fight fungi and viruses. They fight off the bad ones. Same thing in your intestine if something gets in your intestine. In your nose, if you breathe something in, you have these little whisk brooms. They're called cilia that whisk out the viruses. They're impeded by pollution, by vaping, and by smoking. So it allows the virus to get in those people easier. There's a key point we'll come to on that when, about how to avoid infections. And that's one of the pieces of good news about your immune system. The Good News Network can do something about, in fact, we're getting stronger in our immune system. When, if it gets in and replicates in your cells, then you have a toll receptor it's a receptor that sends out a loud signal and it fights off the virus directly. We also have a acquired immune system. So two systems, innate and acquired. The acquired need to identify the virus. So they identify, and the key point in identifying is identifying these spike proteins. So the antibody that you've heard about, the neutralizing antibody, it grabs on to the spike. The non-neutralizing antibody, you've heard some of the antibodies aren't useful, they attack this. They're useful for you, but the virus still can replicate and spread to other people. So those are the basics. We have skin, then your cilia, then the direct immune system, and then you have killer T cells that are acquired and the antibodies that are acquired. Mm. What about exercise? What role does that play in so staying healthy? Exercise, and I, I have a shoe because I want people to understand they want to do the regular exercise, not an excessive amount. So we want you to do your normal amount, maybe a little more. That stimulates your immune system to fight. When you do more than two hours in a row, so for example, marathon runners, when they run for the two hours or longer, they impede their immune system for three weeks afterwards. So they have a three times increase infection rate. Um, so we want to exercise, but not much. And that sleep is, is fascinating. Wow, I did not know that. Another reason yeah. to not run a marathon. Run the marathon. <laughs> we were about to, to run list. the marathon, but Let yeah. me just Johnny write Mason. that down. No marathon. Got that. Oh, tell us about sleep, because you and I have discussed sleep so many times and the importance of sleep in our immune systems. So when you look at all the studies on immunity and what increases immunity, what increases what we call vaccination take rates, the success of vaccinations, the most important thing is actually sleep for three days beforehand. And I have this pillow here to remind me to tell you, with this virus, it's different. Normally we say sleep on your back because that decreases back pain, but this time we want you to sleep on your side. Why? Because the virus replicates in the outer nose. This SARS virus is different than the prior one. The reason the prior one doesn't infect many people, it only replicates deep in the lung, and that's harder to breathe those viruses out. But if you replicate here, it breathes out easy. The problem is if you sleep on your back, you're going to absorb it in when you take an inhalation. So we want you to sleep on your side so it falls out. So Kelly, how do you sleep? Do you sleep on your side? 
Well, I, okay, I am a natural side front sleeper, but because my dermatologist said that was causing wrinkles, I've been sleeping on my back. <laughs> what do I do, <laughs> Dr. Royzen? <laughs> Tell me how to fix it. <laughs> Priorities. In this, case, in this case, the virus wins over wrinkles, at least for the, okay. until you get vaccination or until we get rid of it. So does Ryan sleep? Ryan, do you sleep on your back or side? I sleep on my stomach and I hug a pillow and I put that's, one leg out like that. That's actually perfect. Oh, good. That's perfect. great. That's perfect for getting rid of the virus. <laughs> uh, all right, let's take we've seen a we've seen a pillow, a sneaker, and a pool floaty device. What's next? We'll be right back with the doctor. We're back with Dr. Royzen talking about boost, boosting the immune system. Now, Kelly and I live pretty stress-free, but our executive producer always has this stressful look on his face. Um, what, how do you concerned. advise? Yeah, look at him. Look at that stress. Look at that. Uh, Dr. Royzen, I know you're not a psychiatrist or a psychologist, but, <laughs> but what could you do? Uh, what would you with say that. the underlying cause of that, that look of absolute <laughs> alarm? Pain what would you agony. say? Yeah. Well, for all of us, the way we can manage stress, so stress happens to everyone, and it's one of the most important inhibitors of your immune system. So managing is important. Take your first finger, put it on your belly button, take a big breath in, and your belly button should go out as you take a breath. Your button should go back to your spine. And that's useful anytime. Someone cuts you off in traffic, don't close your eyes, but put your finger there. It's a much better thing to do with your finger. And you can breathe out and in without disturbing anyone. The other thing that is really important that we've learned about managing your immune system and improving it is nutrition. So the keys for vaccination were sleep and getting your right supplements and uh, multivitamins beforehand, personalized to you, but that was so that you get what you need. And those two things, sleep and the nutrition were most important. Stress management and exercise were also key to the success of vaccination. So the good news is we're learning a lot about how to boost your immune system. That's great stuff. Uh, doctor, I just have a, I'm curious, your background is so beautiful, it's taking stress away from me. Are you, are you in the middle of a forest? Now, this is, believe it or not, my office. This is the wellness wow. center of the clinic. And uh, my office is this wonderful thing. I've got a walking treadmill or, or treadmill desk, um, as well as a, a great view here. So this is well, Linter's. You want to move in. We want to move You're in sometime. Thanks so much for coming out with those great tips. It's big enough. It really is. One <laughs> more to reason Kelly. to love the Cleveland <laughs> Clinic. One more reason. Exactly. <laughs> a nice tie. All right, kellyandryan.com for all of those tips. Doctor, a pleasure, and we'll be right back here online. <laughs>